Hello and welcome to Legal Ed. This is Tamara Lewis, and this is my initiative to address the topic of global legal skills from both a teaching and learning perspective. Today, I want to talk about teaching legal analysis. Now, when most people think about legal analysis, the term IRAC comes to mind. IRAC is that classic law school notion that every issue, every legal problem should be approached from the idea of issue, rule, analysis, conclusion. Firstly, IRAC actually misses the facts. And in law, facts do matter. And when my students are writing about legal analysis of a case, I want them to talk about those facts, select the ones that are most important, and compare those facts to what's going on in their own scenarios. These are important skills. A second reason IRAC is deficient has to do with the fact that the decision maker is often ignored in an IRAC analysis, and decision makers matter in international law. What is their jurisdiction? What can they rule on? These are things I need my students to consider. And finally, what is the character of their decisions? Are they binding on the parties? Very important for international law. I urge you to help your students find a broader perspective on legal analysis. First, encourage them to talk about the facts and to make their own relevant comparisons to their facts. Then discuss the decision maker and the nature of their decisions. Are their decisions binding? Are they merely persuasive? Or is it soft law? Again, this has been Dr. Tamara Lewis from Legal Ed. Let's give IRAC its rightful resting place.